Hi, I'm David Katzmeyer from CNET, and I'm sitting next to the Panasonic TCP50 VT25. This is a 50 inch flat panel plasma TV, the smallest in Panasonic's flagship VT25 series. There's also a 54, 58, and 65 inch member of the series, as well as a 50 inch model to Best Buy exclusive that has a silver bezel called the VT20. Otherwise, it's basically identical. In fact, all these are basically identical, which is why this review will apply to all sizes. This is uh, Panasonic's 3D TV for 2010. It's a plasma model and has some advantages over some LCD-based 3D TVs we've tested. We'll get to that in a little bit. Um, but first, 3D TV in general, you do require specialized 3D content, uh, Blu-ray discs for the highest quality. There's also some channels on Direct TV and a lot more uh, coming soon, but for now, content is pretty limited. You also need to use 3D glasses uh, to view the 3D content on this TV. The Panasonic comes with one pair of those glasses. The additional pairs cost $150 right now, although we do expect them to drop in price, but of course it does cost a lot of money to outfit your entire family for 3D viewing. Uh, again, we'll talk about a little bit about the 3D performance in a bit, but first this is a fully functional 2D TV, and uh, the styling on it is uh, pretty slick. Uh, this VT25 series has the bronze bezel. It's slightly different from the standard glossy black you'll find. It's also got a little bit of silver above and below, and of course some silver accents on the swivel stand here, and all in all we really like the appearance of this TV. Aside from 3D, the uh, main features on this flagship TV include Panasonic's Viera Cast, which is a IPTV solution that includes uh, Netflix, Amazon Video On Demand, uh, Twitter, Fox Sports are coming soon. Netflix won't be available until July this year, and a lot of the other content is sparser than some of the other uh, internet-connected TVs uh, around. We do like the fact that you can adjust some of the arrangements within the Viera Cast menu, which is a new feature for 2010. There's also the ability to hook up a keyboard, so if you'd like to Twitter from your TV, you'll like that feature flagship model, Panasonic did equip the VT2025 with a good selection of picture adjustments in the custom setting. When you go into custom, you can play with the pro settings, which involves uh, a lot of color temperature adjustments, a full color management system, gamma, and a few others. The THX mode on this TV, which we did find was the best overall, isn't all that adjustable, however. Uh, of course, it does start out pretty good, so that's not really a big issue. There's also a few 3D settings on this TV, but it's not as extensive an adjustment selection as you can find on Samsung's 3D TVs, which also include an uh, upconversion system to convert 2D to 3D. Again, Panasonic doesn't include that system in this model. Connectivity on the VT25 is fairly extensive. Around back you'll find three HDMI inputs, two component video inputs, a PC input. There's also this RS-232 port here, only on the VT25, not on the VT20 series, that's used for connection to uh, custom installation systems. Side panel has a fourth HDMI input and issue an SD card slot and a couple of USB jacks. One of those is nice if you buy the optional Wi-Fi dongle, which is uh, useful for if you don't want to connect an Ethernet cable to the back of the TV. The Wi-Fi dongle does cost 100 bucks though. When we took the Panasonic into the lab, we were very impressed by its 3D and its 2D picture quality. We'll start with 3D though. Compared to the Samsung, which is the only other one we've tested, the uh, Panasonic was superior in terms of reducing crosstalk, which are these sort of ghostly doubled images that you can see sometimes uh, in certain material. A lot more crosstalk on the Samsung than we saw on the Panasonic. Both exhibited excellent detail and give you a, a really good stereoscopic 3D effect. Of course, smaller screen size and a couple of other issues are different from the theater, but in general it's a very satisfying illusion. But the real story here is the 2D picture quality, at least until 3D becomes a lot more common. 2D on this TV is among the best we've ever tested. It starts with the excellent black level performance. When you turn down the lights and watch a relatively dark scene, those blacks are really inky and uh, really help improve the pop and overall saturation of the entire picture. Speaking of saturation, the color on this TV is very good, not quite as good as some of the very best models we've tested, but in THX mode, color accuracy gets really good skin tones and again, plenty of saturation and pop. We did find some issues with the 1080p24. It does have excellent cadence, which does take advantage of the film-based Blu-rays and DVDs, but on the other hand, we did see some slight false contouring artifacts, but again, we did prefer to use the 1080p24 mode on this TV, which is labeled 96 hertz. We also appreciated the standard picture quality advantages of plasma, which include very good off-angle and picture uniformity. Panasonic also improved the anti-glare screen on this model, so it does preserve black levels as well as reduce reflections better than previous Panasonic plasmas. That's a quick look at the Panasonic TCP VT20-25 series, and I'm David Katzmeyer.